from LibbyStamps.com and I've got another video today on using the gift bag punch board from Stampin' Up and we're going to make this little bag with the turnover collar today. Um, so we'll get started. I'm going to use some of the new um, designer series paper called Timeless Elegance. And I've cut it to 10 inches so we're going to make a small bag and before we get started I'm going to bring in my stamp and trimmer and just score this DSP at 2 inches and that's going to be our turn back collar now when you're using DSP don't be too heavy handed with your scoring otherwise uh, you may crack the paper so I'll just turn that back make sure it's nice and even and I'll use my scoring tool from the gift bag punch board just to neaten that up all right and I've used the full 12 inches in the width if you were wondering so with that crease towards us we're going to start with our gift bag punch board and open up the crease so that we can score down as far as we can and I like to start a little bit away from the start line and just score that horizontal so that I'm getting it all the way across all right so I'll move to the start line so with the little tip mark on the edge of the paper we're making a small bag so I'm going down the small remember don't score too heavily and we're going to punch and we'll move across so the score lines lined up with the tick mark do the horizontal this time we're doing a side so down the side line and the gusset so around the triangle and punch all right move across again so that your side mark is at the tick mark and go across the horizontal we're doing the small bag so down the small score line and punch all right move your score line across do the horizontal doing the side round the gusset not pressing too heavily so we don't go through our um, paper and punch move the last one across and we're doing oh, the side so I've not measured correctly all right and I'm just going to do that and I'll measure I'll cut that off in a second all right trim that off um, and I should have explained I like to do the little um, side gusset mark just there as a pointer for where I need to cut all right and then I'm going to crease all my lines I'm going to turn that over again and bring in our punch board and this time we're punching the holes in the top and you're just going to do it as you would do normally so um, line your tick mark up with your crease lines your score lines and punch I'm just going to trim off this little tab here along the score mark that I made earlier because we don't need that and bring in my fast fuse all right now for this bit I'm going to fast fuse all the way down 
to where I trimmed off a tick. Close that up and fast fuse on that. And then on this side, I'm just going to add a little fast fuse down the side just to close that bit off. Then we just make up our gift bag as you would normally. down closed and then I usually use my uh, the handle of my bone folder just to make sure that's all stuck. There we have our gift bag so it's just a matter of squeezing the sides like so and I'm going to add some ribbon here. I usually use uh, my tweezers to help with that so I just find that having the ribbon cut to a point and then use your tweezers and just push through and then you just need to embellish your bag a bit um, and I've made a spiral rose to go with my bag today. And I'll um, put all these measurements and everything on my blog. You could change the length of the cuff that you have on the bag if you wanted to. Just depends on the size of your bag. Yes. Our gift bag with a cuff. Here's the other one I made earlier and you can see that the back is nicely stuck down and you can't there's no gap or anything there all right so that's it for today's uh, video I'll um, put all the measurements on my blog and I'll put a finished photo on my blog of this bag with the rose that goes with it all right thanks for stopping by today bye for now It'll take creation, imagination Try to draw outside the line Let us see inside your mind You'll find inspiration All I'm saying is you can do it I wanna hear